Hi, I am Jaehoon Ham from Seoul National University. Today, I'm going to present our work, Isometric Representation Learning for Disentangled Latent Space of Diffusion Models. This is a joint work with Juno Lee, Sungyun Kim, and Jun Suk Lee. Compared to GANs and VAEs, diffusion models lack understanding of its latent space. For example, in the video generated from style GANs, relatively smooth transitions between two distant concepts is possible. On the other hand, using diffusion models, abrupt changes during latent traversal exists, which indicates existence of entanglements in the latent space of diffusion models. We use two latent spaces of diffusion models in our work, X and H. First, latent space X is the ordinary noise space of diffusion models, which is defined as Gaussian noise. Due to this fact, we can model the noise space X as a spherical manifold. And due to its geometric property, spherically interpolating two latent points becomes the shortest path or geodesic connecting those points. This shows the difference between two geometries of the Euclidean, of the ordinary Euclidean space and the noise space of diffusion models. The second lat latent space we use is H. Juan et al. proposed the bottleneck feature space H of UNET as a semantic space of diffusion models. When one can find a meaningful editing direction in this space, editing visual attributes of a given image is possible. So if we can move along the geodesic of H, this entangled image editing will be possible. In this work, we used two important properties of isometry. First, geodesic preserving property, which induces equal sensitivity of each latent basis. Second is angle preserving property, which induces preserving orthogonality, hence achieving disentangled latent bases. By using an isometric regularizer, we guide the encoder to become an, an isometric mapping and obtain a geometrically sound or disentangled latent space. Following the formulation from Lee et al., we formulate the isometric regularizer as the ratio of two traces, and we also specify specific Riemannian metric regarding the spherical geometry of noise space. Additionally, we apply, we selectively apply the isometric regularizer to the specific time step regarding the correctness of, of approximation from noise space to spherical manifold. The figure at the right-hand side shows the autoencoder auto encoder trained with isometric regularizer and then depicting the representation space. With the isometric regularizer, the rep representation space becomes geometrically aligned with the input space, which we call disentangled latent space. Quantitative comparisons show that our model achieves better PPL and other disentanglement metrics while maintaining comparable FID scores. With the additional experiments, we show that choosing the right Riemannian metric is, is important to achieve optimal performance. First qualitative experiment we show is interpolation. Our model can achieve better interpolation without the entanglement. For example, when connecting two images of men, using baseline DDPM, there exists unnecessary images of women indicating entanglement, while with our model, we can achieve better, smoother transitions. These are some additional traversing examples. When, and we also show LPIP score between two adjacent frames, explicitly showing the decrease of path length. The second experiment is regarding inversion and reconstruction. With our model, we achieve better MSC and other reconstruction metrics, which indicates our model is advantageous in inversion and reconstruction tasks. 
We also note that lower PPL score meaningfully relates to better reconstruction performance. The last experiment is linear image editing. With our model equipped with disentangled latent space, one may found meaningful editing direction without interfering with other attributes. For example, for the given image with our model, we can edit the image through the age axis while not interfering with the gender axis. Thank you for your listening and I hope to see you at the conference.